Hi, it's Nick Drew from Earth Movers Diggerman Blog. Well, we're here today in Desford and we're looking at uh, some of the machines that are going to be available in the Finning Ready to Go retail offer. And uh, I'm joined by product specialist Adam, who's going to tell us a bit about the machine. On this machine, we've got 200 degrees bucket rotation, which allows you to load a trailer easier. It also allows you to dump further, and when you're up higher, it keeps that material in the bucket. We've also got primary and secondary aux, which finish on the stick, and they both come with quick disconnects as standard. Moving back towards the main machine. In the swing post, we've actually got removable bushings in the static bores, as well as the dynamic bores. When we get wear in those bores, instead of having to line bore, which is costly, or even replace the casting, we can just knock those bores out, put new sleeves in. Very cost effective and a great way to, to maintain your machine. We've also got dozer float, uh, which comes standard on all of our E2 machines. This allows you to clear site very quickly, very easily. So on this machine, we've got the rubber tracks, but we also offer steel tracks, and we also offer steel tracks with rubber pads. We're very flexible in that area of the machine. Moving into the cab, we've got the compass monitor. On the compass monitor, you can change your aux flows and set those for both primary and secondary. You have some basic security function in there. And you also have in that monitor continuous flow, which you can set and then control with the auxiliary joystick. Moving to the rear of the machine, we've got the upward facing exhaust. And for the E2 series, we have a new system called Power On Demand. So Power On Demand uses the engine and a new hydraulic valve. The hydraulic valve is an extremely efficient valve and we can actually lower the engine revs permanently on this machine and still not lose any digging performance. When we then track or use auxiliary functions where you need the extra power, we can then up the engine revs. This feature comes as standard on all machines. It's something that we introduced at E2 and in doing that it allowed us to remove the eco button. We see that as a great advantage. Great, and I, you tell me there's a, a, a split screen in this, yes? There is a split screen in this. Just to explain now how it works. You have the lower screen, which uses the two clips. You unclip those, lift it up into the top screen, okay. and then that then opens just as a standard window above your head. So in doing that, keeps the lower screen into the top screen. So there's no lifting out of the bottom screen, turning around, you know, putting pressure on your back or a chance of dropping the screen. So less damage, less risk, and it's smoothly worked. Great stuff. Thanks very much.